Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video, and uh, Happy New Year, everybody, man, hope everybody is safe and sound, yeah, 2020 was a rough one, and 2021 on Madden is starting off as a rough one, <laughs> But yeah, man, we're going to make the most of it as usual. So today, we're going to jump into, uh, I'm doing a game plan series. So I'm going to start breaking down to you guys how I think a little bit in some situations. So today, we're going to jump into how to attack, you know, offensively, you know, via the pass game on all three levels, meaning short, intermediate, and deep. Um, and then, um, shout out one of my, my boy, man, man. Madden franchise junkies, man, my boy Ant, man, me, we, we got some big things popping, man. Y'all need to check that dude out. Do me a favor and go subscribe to his channel immediately. That's Madden franchise junkies. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, big things popping. Yeah. All right. So a big part of the passing game on Madden, especially on this with all the AI nonsense, is you have to be able to set your routes up and you have to be able to attack on the three levels via the passing game. So that means you got to be, your drag game has to be good, uh, your slant game has to be good, your flat game has to be good. A lot of you guys do not utilize the flat routes. The flat routes are extremely effective on this game. You just have to use them in combination. A lot of the times the flat routes are probably the best routes to get open the route you want behind it. I run a lot of bench concepts. So as you see here, by leaking that guy out to the flats, what happens is that intermediate defender, whoever is in that curl flat or hard flat, you know, soft squat, whatever, they come down immediately. And see, once you get that defender to commit down, it's easier to, uh, you get a, a better window to complete the pass behind it. And so then once you start to be able to effectively, you know, master the short game and pick up those five or six yards of pop, then when you run these little short stop routes, you get the linebacker and the user to come down and then you just, y'all know what it is, drop it in the bucket. I heard somebody say that once. Yeah. But anyway, another bench concept. Get the guy to come down immediately. That is an easy read. That's as soon as you snap the ball, get your feet set, you should be going immediately to that read. And that takes me to my next thing. Start to, to number your reads in your head. Understand, this is my first read, first option, second option, third option. Um, I call it the one, two, three, three, two, one. You know, on this play, I can run the same play and go three, two, one, meaning I'm gonna look at my third option first, which might be my deep option. It, it just depends on what I'm looking at defensively. But the key is to get the matchup and, and get, you know, the time and the presence to, to go down the field, which is apparently what we all want to do. Um, and so just by clearing out that flat, it makes the downfield shots just a little bit easier. Um, you get a little bit more space. And then look at the user on this play. Watch him. He's, he's going to chase that over route because I've hit him with it already. And then I come back down, downhill, right there, a little stop route. Simple, efficient setups. Again, number your routes. Also, start to understand the defense or what you think the defense is in pre-snap. Don't just snap the ball and just, you know, see what happens once the ball is snapped. Because if you want to get these downfield shots and you want to get 
uh, an, an, a, you know, the, have the ability to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one matchups, then you have to set your routes up. They just have to be set up. Got to attack the middle. Ooh, Jewels. Got to attack the middle of the field. The user normally does not want to lurk out beyond the numbers. That That's just an unwritten rule in Madden. If you can get the user to start lurking outside the numbers, then everything else you run should be kind of open. Or you should at least have the opportunity. You know, I mean, I understand how Madden works. You know, the guy, the AI guy just makes the incredible play all the time. Yeah, I know. Trust me. But anyway. So, yeah, it's, it's just big time that to, to be able to take advantage and to also, like I said, have that numbering system. So if you want to the flat route is your first option, that's one. The route behind it may be two. The other route is three. And so like watch, watch him chase, chase, chase. Calvin Ridley wide open. Yep. You know, and it's just like every single time. And then those deep routes will become open. Trust me, they will be wide open because now um, from the user standpoint, I always try to watch and see whether the guy is trying to use a safety or a linebacker. You know, I know a, there's a mixture now, so there is no such thing. But yeah, you know, just from a positional standpoint, think about it that way. Huh. And so if, if you can get that guy, if you can be consistent in the short and intermediate, that guy is going to start chasing. Look, look at this guy chasing. He just leaves the guy in the back of the end zone wide open. And that's what you want. So the consistency starts from the first level. So if you can master, again, picking up those four to five yards on those drag routes, those zigs, those stops, you know, those little out routes. That's another route that... that for some reason in Madden, people have stopped throwing the out route. I got to get back to that, fellas. The out route is a beast. But if you want to get these dropping in the bucket situations here where you just catch the guy totally out of position, then that's what's going to happen. Like, watch this. In a first down situation, critical part of the game right here, watch what the user does. He has to commit to that intermediate route because I've been killing him with it. And then drop it in the bucket one more time. And that's just, it, it just works that way. And so in order to be a more consistent passer, you guys are going to have to start coming up with better schemes and start to understand what it is that you're facing from a defensive standpoint. Understand how to manipulate the defense in order to get the matchup or the pass that you want, you know, as maybe not necessarily a first option, but, you know, you can kind of make that read initially. You know, those over routes and those one play route touchdown routes, use those routes to get open what you want underneath. People are going to chase those routes because some people still just don't know how to stop them. So if you look in this situation, just just watch this play develop. Watch all the linebackers are sitting short. So once I see them sitting short, when I look up, it sounds like I just scratch right there. Did y'all hear that? Big out. See, scratching was like there were records, like vinyl. And so there was a thing called like a DJ, not the Internet. Never mind. All right. So I'm going to run a simple bench concept just to show you. Watch, and I'm going to give you just an example. And so I'm going to run Ridley to the flat. This is a basic, just a basic cover three sky or whatever. And run, running Ridley to the flat, watch the reaction of the linebacker. You, there are ways to kind of tell if the linebacker is in coverage or blitzing. Um, Y'all need to get at me at Coach DC 404 if you need to know those things. CoachDC404.com. And so watch. Just a simple bench concept. As you see, you know, JJ out there, you know, having a good time. You know, ain't we? Never mind, man leave y'all alone man all right so ridley to the flats watch the immediate reaction i think that's a linebacker or safety or whoever you see my man keith smith my bad keith i'm gonna get you in another video dog shout out to keith smith man yeah and then you know as you see jj running on the corner route and so as that boundary corner just doesn't stand a chance if the throw is proper fellas he just doesn't anyway man uh all leagues about to crank back up. Xbox guys, please, everybody keep registering.